So, uh, hello, it is uh, another Monday Holistic Call, and uh, this month it's, uh, you can see, I'm just wearing a little bit of a splash of pink because we've got <laughs> a beautiful pink full moon in Libra celebrating uh, spring energy and uh, also celebrating new beginnings because with any full moon we have a completion of uh, the cycle and then we're saying yes to something new. On the call today, we've got Cheryl Chapman and uh, Mario Bevington, who are the co-authors, the co-writers of the book, Find Your Why. Both Cheryl and Mario will be on my radio show, Health and Healing, on Thursday, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, on Thursday, the 27th of April. Okay, so you could actually listen in and uh, find out a bit more about their story, a bit more about what they do, all the things that work together to, to help you find your why. And we will explore that a little bit later, okay, later on the call. Uh, a warm welcome to my dear Constance, who uh, is actually joining us from Holland. Yay. Yay. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, Jackie Wilson, uh, she, she would have liked to be on the call, but she cannot. I don't know where Sue Rich is and Linda Knight. Uh, hopefully, when they're going to watch back, they will see that actually I was wait we were waiting for them. So, brilliant. I hope you're well and, uh, and uh, let's, let's crack on. Okay, so uh, a, few, a few things about the energies around this period, this, uh, this time with the full moon. So, we already discussed about new moon and then we have the sun in Aries, which is, uh, Aries is, is a lot of, have we got any Aries people here? No? Aries? No? There is a lot to, it's a lot to do about uh, self-identity and integrity. So we, have, we are under that energy with the sun in Aries. And also now we also have got the moon in Libra, which Libra is, a, is, is the balance, isn't it? You know, trying to figure out who you are. Really, the question is, who am I? It's very, very, very strong at this period. And also your relationship with others. So how are you? bringing that balance, finding the center in yourself, and also how you, are, you connect with other people. But the connection with other people is based on your own integrity. Uh, so it's very, it's very key to understand that, you know, how's your relation with others, but do you have to wear a mask? To, to, uh, do you actually share your true self? Do you share your authenticity? Do you come from your, that heart space? Uh, or do you try, you try sort of to compromise somehow to fit in? That's, that's another, another question that could turn up this period. There's lots of, lots of deep energies. I'm not talking from a point of an astrologer because I'm not an astrologer, but I'm really, really curious and I'm really, really uh, into exploring uh, these uh, influences from the planets. The system I work with, uh, the Calomir system, you can see the bottles behind. We work also with astrology in terms of, for example, we have uh, uh, different bottles associated with uh, number one is the sun, for example, number two is the moon, number three is Jupiter. So we have a connection with color and astrology together. So, so we've got also very much into Libra is the, um, the, the star sign associated with uh, the element of air. Okay, we've got any, anybody here who is an air sign? No, no. What's, what's your sign, Mario? I'm Virgo. Yeah, Virgo. So you're very I'm grounded. Very I'm grounded. a triple Virgo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so are you, are you a perfectionist as well, are you? Oh, oh. tell me. Perfectionist. <laughs> <laughs> Is there one hair out of place? Yeah, yeah. You know what's funny, Priscilla, my, my uh, perfectionism has become very grounded because it's so profound. <laughs> I kind of gave up on it because it was hard work to be such a perfectionist. <laughs> so I'm a bit of a hippie now. <laughs> yeah, you are a wild Virgo. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant, brilliant. So, Cheryl, what's, what's that sign are you? I'm a Sagittarius. Okay, brilliant. Okay, I'm so. A fire sign. Yes, and I am uh, I'm Cancer, and uh, Constance is Cancer, and we both we were born on the same day, 4th of July. <laughs> what, a love, wow. what a lovely coincidence. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, um, okay, so we're talking about Libra, and um, 
the actual element connecting with Libra is air. So naturally, air is teaching us to be flexible in life. So it's very much about uh, connecting with your, with your mental sort of uh, feeling, feeling your mental sort of space, but also connecting with your emotional space. So this is, so you have the moon that is very much about intuition, is about connecting with your, with your feminine energy. And you have the air element that brings in and you say, okay, you need to bring these two, the emotional and rational together. Mm -hmm. Okay. How does that sound to you? Did, I, how do you feel after, yeah. you know, under, under the full moon? And, you know, do you feel the energy? Do you feel like uh, it does it have an impact on you? I wonder, mm -hmm. do you feel it? Yeah. Because we women, we do, we do, we're very sensitive to these kind of energies. Marion, do you feel this kind of uh, I do. When, the, when it's a full moon, I actually feel, it's like I feel less grounded um, or lighter somehow. So when you were just talking then about the air and the flexibility, I think that's definitely what happens to me around the full moon. Is I, it's like there's a, something feels a bit liberated mm -hmm. from the density. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and also in uh, in the system I work with, air is is is, uh, is the white, very white, clear. So so when uh, when you're feeling a bit with uh, the moon cycles, a little bit of confusion can come into play. So when you feel that the air elemental, the element of air is actually help you helping you to bring that clarity in. Mm. Okay. So now thinking about uh, being in that space under the influence of these energies. Uh, I would love to take you through a meditation that is the air meditation. And then after that, having, having felt this connection with, uh, with uh, the air and then see whether any clarity has come up for you or anything that needs to, to sort of be expressed because also flexibility is, is part of expressing yourself, being actually feeling, feeling the, the, the flow, being the flow. Okay. So that's that's another 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 part of it, and connecting more with your intuition, really getting grounded, getting more centered, and then connecting with your intuition. So, um, how do you feel about it in mini meditation? Would you like that? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so this uh, if normally what's happening when you are you know, but because as we know we are all vib vibrations and energy. Uh, so, so I am, I am spraying the, the, and then I'm taking this in. That's how, that's how the speeches work. That's, that's one of the, and then I'm sending the, sending some beautiful vibrational air elemental to you, or wherever you are. Okay. So the, the actual essential oils that comes with uh, air elemental is uh, gardenia and angelica, if you know anything about essential oils. And the positive aspects of it is clarity, purity, reflection, and helping you to step into more of your own light. So, so if the question we're actually going through here is uh, what lights you up? Because in spring we have more light, haven't we? That's 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 what I love about this and this this beautiful time of the year. We have more light. So the question is, when you're going through this meditation, it could be what lights you up? What is it that actually something new, something new you want to go on a new adventure? What is it that you need? What support do you need to make this this uh, happening to you? So you could ask your 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 very personal you know question because with any meditation, Cheryl and Marion were telling us you know the importance of uh, setting intentions. <laughs> yeah. So with uh, with yes. any meditation, it's really important also to, to ask a question. Okay. So um, while you're going through the meditation, you're very welcome to do that. Right. Let's let's uh, sort of. Um, Make yourselves comfortable, uh, feel sort of, have some sort of support on your back, your feet on the ground. Air is a lot, a lot to do with breathing, okay? So we're going, you need, you need to allow some time also to take some deep breath and inhale and exhale. So we're going, we're going to do that in a moment, okay?
Okay. Yes. So if you if you like to close your eyes when you're ready. Come into your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Feeling the gift of each breath. Each and every breath is a blessing. An offering from the universe. Begin to feel the connection with the air elemental flowing into your lungs, into your being, all the way through your body. Opening up your lungs, your heart center, really allowing them to expand gently and easily. Take another deep breath. Exhale. Notice how your body begins to respond to the air. Your muscles, your tendons, your ligaments, your organs, your bones, all taking in the air. The breath, the life force, each cell opening and expanding, softening, allowing, releasing. Feel the freedom of air. Feel the expansion of air. Feel the peace of air. And as soon as you open to air, you notice your limitations falling away. All there is, is space and light and breath and flow and energy and life. And you notice possibilities opening before you, taking you into new spaces, new ideas, new energy flowing in through the breath. And you do not have to know how or why. All you need to do is to be there with the breath, with the flow, and allow it all. We are practicing the art of allowing. And you know, you are now in a higher space, a more aligned space, a place of freedom and serenity and exhilaration. And from this space, you look down on your life as it is now, from a higher perspective. You can see things you have worried about, or fretted about, or been angry about, floating away down below you. And you can see them for what they are, simply energy that has got stuck or condensed and you know that they annoy you and you're not them and you allow yourself to transmit your own light and blessings to these situations and relationships that have troubled you and you watch as they dissolve right before your eyes in the air here you know the truth, you understand the deeper truth, the higher perspective, and you let the situations go. And you float on the air, soft, light-filled air, watching the breath once more, allowing it to flow gently, with ease, with grace. And you float on a soft, white cloud of light. And gently, gently, the cloud drifts softly and slowly down towards the earth. And you become aware of your physical body slowly. And once more, allowing your breath 
to guide you, to guide you back into your body and into your space and coming back into our core when you're ready. <laughs> ah, very gentle, isn't he? Very soft, very peaceful. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to unmute you again because that's it. Because there was a little bit of a noise while we we're going through it. Okay. So, uh, I always invite you to share your own experience with the meditation. Is something something uh, that spoke to you? Uh, Constance, would you like to, to share how you felt because you are more familiar with these uh, mm -hmm. stations in color? Absolutely, you know, I, I love the meditations and it was so funny, this time again, before you mentioned the cloud, I was just settling to a lovely white cloud. <laughs> ah, this is nice. <laughs> and then you mentioned it, so that was so funny. <laughs> I thought, okay, I got that. <laughs> And yeah, it felt so relaxing and so like, okay, you can let it all um, drop from you, all the stuff you're into and that you were annoyed about or whatever. It was also down, down. It was so nice not having it on my back. Mm -hmm. So I, I really, really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. It's a, it's a, we, we accumulate a lot of energy during our time, you know, whatever our relationships, uh, you know, decisions we make, uh, things go right, things are not going right. And then uh, sometimes we don't allow the time just to let go and release. And this is, this is a perfect time under the energy of the full moon, just to let go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and whatever, you know, just for me is also, uh, and I think when you read the book, uh, Find Your Why by Marion and uh, Cheryl, when you, you, when you read the book, everything happens for a reason, right? So, so whatever comes in your way, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's there, it's a blessing and how we can learn from it. And every single person that comes to you is a blessing. Every situation, every circumstance, every challenge, every obstacle. So uh, has there been, how has this, you know, this cycle been for you? Which is there something you would like to be grateful for? Because Mario and Cheryl, you've been on your travels. And I know you, you, you shared something with us before we, st we, call, we, we started the call. Would you like to share something that you're working on, something you're very grateful for? That's another, another possibility with the full moon and our call today. Who would like to, to start, Cheryl? Um, wow, where do we begin? Because there's just so much to be grateful for, really. <laughs> um, I'm very grateful for Marion because uh, I know a lot of people work on their own and I think that that must be really tough. Um, I'm also very grateful for a system that we use, which is genetic blueprinting, because that allows me to understand that I do have, um, you know, uh, an emotional wave. Um, and before I used to think that I was just like I could get up in the morning and have a fight with myself. Mm -hmm. And I really thought there was something wrong with that. Um, but actually, now that I know that it's part of my DNA, it's kind of part of my profile. And Marion knows that as well. She knows it's got nothing to do with her it's just me and I need to go through a process uh, so I'm very grateful for those two uh, you know I'm very grateful for, for the for the profiling that I know that I'm not going insane because everybody's used to see me on stage you know, whoop, 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 you know all being all happy 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 um, and then for, for what appears to be no apparent reason but you'll know this with the energies of the planets you know there is a shift um, and so interestingly, I, I hadn't really thought about it, but maybe it's in the lead up to the full moon. I don't know. I'll have to be, mm. become aware of whether or not this happens every time. It's mm. nothing major. It's just, I just don't want to actually be, be, uh, be around people. I want to be on my own because I just want to find myself. So um, it's interesting when you said at the beginning, it's about who I am and the relationships I have with other people, because that's definitely been something that's been, um, you know, strong uh, with me. Mm -hmm. but I'm very grateful for Marion because once she knows who I am, accepts me for who I am, and then just avoids me like the plague. And I would too, you know, so, so that's great. But I, 
I don't, I don't think, oh my gosh, where's Marion gone? She's not speaking to me. I just think, oh, she knows me and that's, that's good. So very grateful for having yeah. somebody, you know, knows, knows me inside and out, if you like. So yes, the mask is down uh, and up when it needs to be. Um, <laughs> just wherever I am. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful, beautiful when you have that kind of connection with another human being. And as you say, you know, working together and also really accepting each other as you are. And, and that's, 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 that's so liberating. It's absolutely, you know, beautiful. Yeah. And unusual, unusual for, for a business partner. I mean, I have that with my husband because otherwise it's actually our anniversary today. Is it? Uh, wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Anniversary. He's in, in Doha at the moment in the Middle East. So he's coming home on Wednesday. Hence the reason why I'm on this call. Fantastic. Um, oh, yeah. blessing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so yes. Yeah, so you know, you can have it with a with someone of the opposite sex. I found I found it very difficult in my life, if I'm honest, to to have a have that kind of connection with a with another woman, and mm -hmm. um, because I kind of felt and, and and probably you know, well, not probably, definitely, I know now it's it was my problem. You know, I did, I kept thinking I could mind read what other women were thinking, and I never, would never open up. So it's a very special relationship to be able to have that with another woman as well. So um, feeling very, very blessed. Yes, very blessed. And also blessed to meet new women today. So, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> grateful, grateful for the connections we have in our lives, and the fact that you you actually you said yes and you turned up today here tonight. Uh, and uh, blessings to everybody who's going to watch the, this. Uh, this video uh, cast, I call them video cast. Audio cast is for, for, for a radio and video cast is for video like this. So everybody who's going to watch it back and, uh, and then they're going to take something from it. Something. I, 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 I have a, yeah, I have a saying which is that you meet people, sometimes they come into your life so you can help them and on other occasions it's so they can help you. So there's always a reason, always there's a reason. always yeah. a reason, yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Jerry, uh, Jill, thank you. Uh, Marion, would you like to share something? Oh, there is Sue. Oh, hello, Sue. Um, oh, yeah, carry on, carry on. I'm sure she will. Uh... Um, yeah, so for me, I, one of the things that has recently begun to happen is that uh, the work that I'm doing with Cheryl has expanded. So we've, I've always had a desire to um, work on retreats because mm -hmm. I'm, I teach yoga and I do lots of different processes and practices with people that it's really good to do in groups. Mm -hmm. And I love being in a group and I love teaching. I like mm -hmm. standing at the front of the room and teaching. And so to be able to share the, the blessings that I've got, the relationship that I've got with Cheryl, it, it, in a way it feels like it's part of the job mm -hmm. because what I gain from working in such a close relationship with somebody is the ability to, um, to ex like experiment with being me. Mm. So I don't feel confined or constrained in any way to just express what's going on. And the, I mean, don't get me wrong. The old patterns come up. So, you know, a thought will come into your head and your mouth will go, Oh no, you can't say that. You know, all the old family, family messages come through. So those thoughts do still come up when things happen or, Oh, I need to change what I'm doing or something needs to come in from the outside to affect me yes. so I can continue. So all of those old triggers are still there, but this is the first time that I've been in a relationship in a working relationship where I can actually just play around with those things that come through and then the my, my old responses so you know I can talk about the old response I can play around with new possibilities of mm -hmm. how I can be and how I can act and that is where we go with our clients as well also we call them the wise men and the wise women mm -hmm. they're people who know their why mm -hmm. so we spell it w-h-y hello Sue <laughs> and, um, hello my dear with the wise men and the wise women what we're we're encouraging them to do is to play around with who you are because our identity isn't fixed our personality isn't fixed our tastes and our behaviors are not fixed nothing like that is ever fixed this is where you know change is the inevitable mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. but there's, a, there's a, you know the spark of divinity or the consciousness or the very spiritual little part of ourselves or the huge part of ourselves it's the part that's fixed isn't part of this material existence that we connect with that we relate to that we talk to each other about and so this idea of um, being able to play around and experiment with who we are to find out who I am now and it's going to be a different me in five minutes and it's definitely a different me to five years ago so being able to really play around and I think you mentioned it before you talked about being flexible Mm -hmm. and being in flow and the flow is actually just the expression of who you are Mm -hmm. and again that in this material life and in these normal material thoughts this is all changing it's all constantly changing so to have permission to be the experiment that I am and to change and flow and to go different, you know, with different thoughts and ideas and not to be judged for it. Or if I am judged, I don't feel I'm condemned by the judgment. Mm-hmm. That's for me. That's been one of the most amazing things. And recently we had a, our first retreat. Now, as I say, I've always wanted to do retreats and teaching. And at first it was funny because Gerald said, do retreats? What do you mean? Go on holiday with your clients. I can't think of anything worse. <laughs> <laughs> and now we've run out. We did our first retreat and she's like, oh my God, oh my God, when is the next one? <laughs> so it's completely gone. It's turned on its head completely. Sorry, Cheryl, for outing you there. But it's been such an, because for me, it was like, well, okay, she's going to get it. If Eventually she's got and she's got it now. We've done one and it's it, it was just amazing. It was the most brilliant experience. And I'm just so pleased it's turned out that way because that was what I thought I wanted. Yes. <laughs> so I'm really pleased it worked. So, so, yeah, a good manifestator, Marion. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's uh, it, it retreats are absolutely wonderful spaces. Yes. Uh, I, I know running my own retreats that is is the best possible way, the best gift one of the best gifts you can give to yourself you know mm-hmm. if, if you really want to see big shifts and then really constrain your own self, self-development and whatever awakenings you want to you know to mm-hmm. receive and embrace about yourself and about your new way forward or whatever steps you want to take for me is actually stay stepping out of the familiar environment yeah. It's, yeah. it's what really really helps to get that shift and that clarity and of course, when you are involved with uh, lots of other, you know, soul-hearted people coming together and you work together with all of them and you are ex- exposed to these wonderful, you know, beautiful sunsets and wonderful food and, you know, whatever else you practice, you do, you know, yeah. that's, I guess, you don't have to try too hard either, which is even better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> things are coming, things are flowing and then that's, that's, the, best, that's the best place to be. Uh, yeah, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the other um, area that we've been in this uh, this month, which we've been talking about before, was uh, being in the ATL group. Um, yeah. And there's always a story with me. I mean, anybody who knows me, you know, it, it's never two minutes <laughs> about what it is. There's always a story. Um, and I was in Czech Republic last year, and I was on the stage. There was about a couple of hundred people, I think, at the soul of business in Czech Republic. Um, and I came off stage, I was actually with, uh, with one of the guys who was there to support me, and I'm having my, my lunch, I'm eating, and this lady came over and she said, oh, do you mind if I, if I join you? And I, was, I, was, I must admit, I was a bit like, I'm having me dinner, really. Um, anyway, she said, oh, my, my name's Marie Diamond, and I won't swear, because, I, well, I mean, I do swear, but I did, I did think to myself, that's a bloody good name. Um, so I, said, I said, well, yes, as long as you don't mind me having my dinner. So she said, no, 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 she's, she's sitting there, and we're chatting away. And then all of a sudden, she kind of just slipped into the conversation that, you know, f- from when she was in The Secret. And I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, I'm supposed to know this person. I'm, I'm, I've read the book. Who is um, I never got a clue. And so she's talking about the TLC group, which Jack Canfield set up. And then she was talking about the ATL, which is the Association of Transformational Leaders. And I've got to be honest, maybe I've been around the personal development, like maybe one side of personal development for too long. I was thinking, how much is this going to cost me? Uh-huh. Um, anyway, we, we didn't finish the conversation because we went to watch Brian Tracy, who was um, sharing the stage with us. And uh, I, we went out for dinner. Anyway, cut a very long story short, she invited me to be a member of the ATL. And I'm like, 
do you know that I've only been in, a, in the transformational world for like three years and I had to go into the toilet and Google to find out who you were? Like, are you sure that I'm the right <laughs> person? You know, because when I went into the toilet, I'm in the second cubicle just before we go into the arena. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Marie Diamond, you know, like Feng Shui master from the secret. I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is like crazy. Um, so she said, yeah, she said, I liked what you did on stage. I think you've got great energy, blah, blah, blah. So I went along to the first uh, meeting. Um, and I could tell that there was a, a bit of a, of, a, of, a, of a, you know, one path wanted to go one way, one path wanted to go another way. Um, and I felt this, and so I, I, I am who I am. So I told them, I thought that, you know, they needed to decide, otherwise there could be a split. Um, and there was. Um, and so I decided to stay with Marie. And um, we're now looking at, uh, we are, now let me just get this right, because we were working on the, on the strap line. So we are a heart-based community of transformational leaders. Contributing. Contributing to enlighten Europe. So if anybody, if the ladies on this call, if anybody who's listening to the call, we are looking for members to join us. It's a very, very beautiful space of, uh, you know, um, you know, transformational leaders across Europe. I mean, I was the only one left. It was a little bit like Brexit, but the other way around. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, um, we're looking for people who are, you know, uh, who are helping the world. And it, for me, the whole of that, you know, they invited me to be on the board of directors this last time. Um, so it just goes to show that sometimes people see things in you that you don't see. Mm -hmm. For me, that's very important because in the last four years, I've had that happen to me quite a lot. Um, and do I have moments of self-doubt now? Well, there you go. That bit of my head's quite flat. Um, and that's usually Marion banging my head on the table because yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I, lo I love the connection you got with Marion. I can see. <laughs> anyway, before it turns in the chair on the Marion show, let someone else speak. But yeah, it's been a great <laughs> Fabulous, fabulous. I, I would love to know more about this uh, association. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yes, good. Yeah, good stuff. yeah. yeah. If, if anybody is interested, if they either want to connect with you, Kasula, or if they want to, um, just send me an email, Cheryl, hyphen, uh, Cheryl at Cheryl-Chapman.com, um, and just say, you know, ATL, I'm interested, and then we'll, we'll set up a Skype. Okay. Brilliant. Good stuff. Brilliant. Good stuff. Yes, yes. Well, we actually, Sue, welcome. We actually, um, we went through um, a meditation with the air elemental, because uh, full moon in Libra is, a, is an air sort of... Uh, star sign and we talk about but you can watch this back again i'm not going to go through this again but no. also uh, at the you know we have we are in the, you know, under the energy of the full moon and we are very much sort of expressing our gratitude for things that have uh, we have accomplished or things have come into our life or something that something that you know you could be a person you met and then you some, whatever you know so is, is there something you would like to to share with us mm. Interesting, interesting. I think that it's interesting to talk about gratitude, but also awareness is that um, certainly for me, when we have the spring and everything starts to become alive, mm -hmm. um, it really is, I find, you know, the gratitude for the beauty, if you like, of nature all around us. and. Um, just spending more time if you like looking and taking in that beauty at a much more detailed level and just allowing it to really you know really take it on board and revitalize it and be really grateful for you know just well i think it's just grateful for being alive actually mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, and breathing and you know having the vision to see things and you know, I mean that in the vision is, you know, in the broader sense as well of, um, you know, having the vision to see opportunities, to see connections, um, which just, you know, bring in some amazing things um, into our lives. So, um, yeah, I think it's a fabulous time of year to really make plans, <laughs> come things, you know, bring new things into, into your life. Adventures. And, uh, Yes, new yeah. adventures, absolutely. And th thank you, Sue. That that brings us in uh, into the the um, one of the the things I'd like us to sort of uh, explore on, to, on today's call 
is uh, ways how you I love this new I, I don't use this this verb very often but I really like it how you hone your environment hone hone, hone. hone. <laughs> So it is. A, it is like how, how you can uh, how you can um, sort of um, enhance it. How you can uh, uplift it. How you can make it better, if you like. If you would like to use some synonyms. Uh, being a linguist, I am. I like. I like to use new words. <laughs> so there you go. There you go. So uh, and then yes, by doing that, uh, we're also looking after our well-being. We're looking after. Um, looking after our space is that very much connect with the energy of spring, which is uh, spa space clearing, uh, which is within the, the the exterior, if you like. But Sue and all of us wearing to sort of looking after our uh, inner being, we also need to look after you know how we cleanse the interior of us. <laughs> so it's not only the exterior that we need to think about. Is also the combination of the inside and outside. Yeah. So this is something that we're going to talk about. Uh, we're going to touch on this call and we're going to look into um, next, next call in May because spring is, is that, that, that sort of energy that we really need to look into our own environment, uh, inside and outside as well. So, and cleansing is, is one way forward. Last, on the last call, we talked about water as a way of, of sort of really helping to uh, balance our, our system and really hydrate our system. And all of that, all the toxins really help to, to cleanse it and release. Uh, I will come back to you, Sue, because this is a perfect moment for you to share something about cleansing. Uh, and for me, that's, that's a, a way of, of really um, looking after our environment. You know, it is a cleansing and releasing that goes together. Yeah. Over to you, Sue. Oh, to me, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were coming back to it later. <laughs> no, I think I think it's perfect time to do that now. <laughs> yeah. Well, as you said, spring is a, an amazing time particularly for our bodies and cleansing our bodies from, from the inside out. Um, because, you know, sort of during the winter months, we're staying inside, we're, you know, being exposed to a lot of toxins in our, in our home environment, as well as, um, you know, outside in the outside environment. And, you know, perhaps also the foods that we eat are different as well um, during the winter where we're looking at sort of comforting if you like and and keeping warm and um and perhaps not not eating so many of the sort of you know fresh foods and things like that and, and raw foods and um it's really really important to um basically re revitalize if you like and replenish um particularly uh the gut um microbiome um, because that underpins um, everything to do with to with do, do with our health. So if uh, you know the gut microbiome isn't properly balanced, then we're not going to have the energy, uh, um, the mental clarity and focus. Um, you know, and also our immune system's not going to be that strong either. So getting those in you know all into a really good place at this time of the year then means that you know we can go out into the, the, the summer months feeling great looking great and you know with our health and uh, you know and mental health as well um, all in a really good place so we can really take advantage of you know all the opportunities that uh, are likely to come our way so so let me let me ask you would you recommend uh, juices would you recommend sort of uh, what is what is a good way forward at this time of the year to do some uh, in in, in uh, the inner cleansing well, <laughs> I particularly use a, a particular product actually on, on, a, on with my program. I'm doing a, a 21 day program at the moment called uh, mm -hmm. the Core Cleanse, which really, um, you know, replenishes, revitalizes and uh, rebalances the, the gut microbiome so that uh, you really um, get some amazing results, if you like, in uh, getting your health into a, a really good place. 
Uh, you can find you can actually uh, watch Sue talking about uh, this. Uh, uh, there's a master call that uh, I will be sharing on uh, the close in the closed group. We've got life inspiring conversations on Facebook, uh, but also I shared it. And uh, in, in if you I don't know whether you received already my latest sort of uh, issue of golden news inspiration. So I put there, you know, the links to uh, Sue's. Uh, master call so you can actually watch it and find out more about uh, what's happening through the you know the, the importance of a really healthy gut that's what it is that brings me to healthy gut helps you to to also keep very much alert and very much sort of uh, uh, clear with your own mindset and where you want to go next so so whatever is happening inside is helping you also to to have this mental clarity so mental clarity, um, I'm going to come to now to the next point, which is uh, the importance to also understand who you are. Okay, so 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 finding your why, because that's another another area of, of uh, today's today's uh, call. Finding your why, which is a really big a big question, isn't it? Really, you know, we, we won't be able to cover it on tonight's call. But uh, I am delighted because both Cheryl and Marion will be on my radio show, the Healthy Healing. Uh, show uh, on Thursday 27th of April so you could actually join us online and you can listen in and find out more about it but if we can if we can you know start with one big point that uh, you know the, it would be very important to start with that which is uh, very much you know becoming more aware increasing your awareness okay so uh, so uh, who would like either my or Cheryl would like to uh, to say something about awareness at this point. Who would like to, to go for it? I can. I'll start. <laughs> <laughs> um, we talk about awareness as the, the first point. We, we, we've broken down the way that we speak to, to people about finding your why. Yes. And awareness is such a deep part of the information that we share and the processes that we share. Because, and it, there's so many different parts to it as well, because you need to be aware of who you are, mm -hmm. where you are, why you are where you are, where you want to go, how you're going to get there, what might be in the way, what do you need to do more of. So awareness is just gathering information and everything that we do is focused around the gathering of and then the using of that information. Mm -hmm. So awareness really is the core of the of the way that we teach and because I mean would, would you agree that most people know what they don't want so they're aware of what they don't want yes. and most, yeah, most people are um, oh, you know that the, the awareness of the things that we're trying to avoid or the things that we feel a victim to or the things that we blame is huge it's it, it's in my my understanding now the proportion that we give to what we don't want is enormous the proportion we give to what we do want is really little so i think what we're trying to do with find your way is to address that balance and to get you know so at least it's equal that you're going towards what you do want and you're moving away from what you don't want so it's you know it's half and half half at least it should be more but anyway i think half would be a really good compromise right now because it's it, once you start to, and this is why intention is the next point after awareness once you start to focus on what you do want and the clarity behind what you do want and state it in a very positive way mm -hmm. so you know i do want to be healthy rather than i don't want to be fat is a, is a big one yeah using positive so affirmations it, yeah 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 so really really being positive and also using these positive affirmations as a way to stay focused on what it is you do want because mm -hmm. there's that beautiful saying isn't there that where attention goes energy flows mm -hmm. well attention and awareness are kind of the same thing so if we keep our awareness and our attention moving towards what we do want then it's there's a lot of force behind that it gains its own momentum it gathers its own force if you like whereas when we keep going oh well i don't want this so i'm moving away from it i'm moving away from it because it's what i don't want then actually we're giving all of our attention to what we don't want so we're going to see more of it we're going to find more of it we're going to encounter more of it and with the law of attraction Absolutely. we're going to be attracting a lot more of it 
So yeah, so awareness is, it, it's, it's so deep and it runs through everything that we do. And as we developed the system, as we spent the last what, 12 months, 18 months developing the system, we realized that awareness is like the glue that holds everything that we do together. As, mm-hmm. as a group, as a community, as an individual, everything that we do, awareness is behind it, is absolutely behind it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, uh, it is also for me, another word that I use a lot uh, is becoming more conscious, becoming more conscious yeah. of, of, of where you are now, uh, where you want to be. And, and yeah, yeah have, a, have a clear, have clarity of, of what you really want and what you don't really want. And knowing, you know, the contrast is that that brings up really what we really want. Stick with, stick with that. So, so you have the first step of awareness. I'm just bringing from, from your book here. Uh, find find your why. The first step of awareness is, is know where you are. The yeah. second step of awareness is knowing where you want to go, and that's you know that's we've got the element of self belief, okay, um, mm-hmm. and because doubt can be detrimental to anything we want to start, you know, anything we want to do, it really it keeps us small. It keeps us you know sort of not not going to the full potential. And the third step of awareness is knowing how to believe in yourself. Yeah, and then, and then we are going to talk about uh, on the Healthy Healing on, on the radio show m- more about uh, the actual, the intention, setting the intentions, the differentiation between setting goals and setting intentions. Okay, mm-hmm. that's, that's really, it's a, two, two different, you know, some people, they probably you're not clear with the difference between the two. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the next one is uh, manifest. So you have the, we have A, A for awareness, I for, yes. for attention, and M for manifesting. Okay. Yes, because what we know, and this is true for all of us in all of life, isn't it? Once you know what you want, you become aware of what you want. You become aware of where you are, the tools that you've got to obtain it. You mm-hmm. set the intention that this is what you're going to do or be or have or experience. And then you take action and you work, which will manifest. And also on top of that, we've got the law of attraction, which brings it to you without you actually even having to take action. So we never say don't take action. But also I think it's important for us to remember that once we start to take one or two steps in the right direction, suddenly we'll find ourselves 20 steps in the right direction for no apparent reason, but it's because we've set the intention. It's because we've got the awareness and that manifestation, it's like, um, it, it multiplies what's coming in. So every action I take, the effect of it is actually multiplied because of the awareness that I've got and the intention that I have. And so it just means that you can bring on the life that you want more, more powerfully, more swiftly. Um, and again, because we're always constantly changing, it means you, then you've got to move on to the next thing. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. So um, if we ask the question now, uh, I'll come to you, Cheryl. Uh, because, uh, thank you, thank you, Marion. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll come to you, Cheryl, because if we ask the very first question, because we are not going to cover everything, but if somebody says to you, um, they ask the question, who am I? Who am I? Uh, how would you actually take them through, you know, to understand a bit more of, of uh, who they are? What would be the starting point, if you like? Um, I usually, um, it's a good question. And the answer is, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I have a process that can help people to try and work out who they are. And um, I think the main thing with the aim process, and it's, it's the aim for happiness. That's what we're all after, really. I don't I think that I don't know anybody who doesn't want to be happy mm. um, unless, of course, they're not in the right mind. Um, and, and I know that there are people that are, you know, generally aren't in the right mind. But any, anybody in same body in that mind really does want to be happy because why, why else would you be here? Um, so we aim for happiness. Um, but the thing that I would say is that you don't have to figure it out on your own mm-hmm. and you can't do it alone. I mean, we say you, you shouldn't do it alone, but actually the truth is you can't do it on your own because when I was um, having my awakening, you know, if, if I'd have gone to somebody and said, can you tell me what my why is? Um, I don't think they could have told me because I don't think I knew, well, I definitely didn't know myself. So I needed some guiding processes and it's taken a lot of teachers along the way in such a short period of time. Um, but the way that I would start, 
um, in order to answer your question, is I would look at where they are right now and what brought them to the place where they are right now. Because what we find with our clients is we find that when they talk about where, where you know, what kind of got them to where they are now, and lots of people are doing really great things. I, I just want to just make sure that everybody understands, you know, our clients are not broken. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're not like dysfunctional. They're not like in white straight jackets, you know, rocking backwards and forwards. These are very functional women holding quite high, high places, you know, within companies. And the thing is they have, they're usually the go-to person. So they'll sort everybody else's problem out. And you talked before about wearing that mask. They'll have a smile for everybody else. But inside, they don't think that that mask can come down because they're the strong one, you see? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the smile has to stay there. Um, but they function very well. But there's usually, um, you know, a number of things that have happened. They've either had a death in the family, um, and perhaps that's been their parents or maybe a close friend. Uh, they've maybe been through a divorce. Uh, they may have been deserted by their children who have now flown the nest you know so who are they now um, or they've had a disappointment and the disappointment can be you know maybe they're entrepreneurial and the business hasn't worked so well uh, maybe they're working for somebody else and they've been you know passed by but there's there's one of those four d's so what i'm going to do is i'm going to look at those four d's and go back and find out when they were happy what they did when they were happy because usually you know i mean it may even be that we have to go back to childhood to find out when that happiness was but once we know what lights them up then we might there's you usually a little bit of a hint early on about what you do that really um, you know helps you what you are um, but again I talked about the genetic blueprinting and for me that's key because if I'd have known my genetic blueprint my style if you like we, we cover this in awareness I would have my, my chart shows me that I have a, um, a throat chakra it's, it's sort of based on chakras loosely but it's based on ancient wisdom um, I Ching book of changes um, astrology uh, not horoscopes, of course, um, the chakras and also uh, the Kabbalah, the tree, uh, you know, tree, of, tree of the Kabbalah tree, um, and also modern day science of neutrinos and also of quantum physics. So it's a very complex, um, you know, program that, we, that we're using. But it told me that I should be speaking. It told me that I could lead people. It told me that my intuition would have, would have helped me from dying at least three or four times that I'm aware of, and that I would, I would be able to emotionally connect with people and mm -hmm. also see what's missing in people's lives. Right. Um, and also be able to help string together what, what it is that they want. And that's exactly what we do. So the answer is I don't know, but I do know, I do know a, a way to find out. Um, and, and maybe on the 27th we'll give some more. We can just give a little bit incomplete, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll go a bit deeper on the 27th of April, absolutely. Yeah, a, proven, absolutely. a proven strategy, that's what we use, a proven yeah. strategy. But it's usually, you know, it's usually already, you already know, it's just that you just can't find it on your own. Yeah. Can't find it down the way. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this is this is the point that uh, you know it's uh, it's good to to um, to get a point and say yeah I want to find the answer and I want to know why and I'm not going just to struggle try to find the solution or the you know find find the, the answer to the question on my own. Uh, and I love yeah I love I love the analogy of spring mm -hmm. um Sue that you brought in before because. Um, yesterday I had one of those days you know where I was just like I don't really know if I can be bothered with anybody else so I, I took the dog for a walk and I was doing pretty similar to what you were talking about then so it's quite quite uh, quite lovely really and I was looking around and I was looking at all the birds and the birds in my garden that are starting to go in the nesting boxes and everything and I just thought do you know what four years ago I didn't even see this I didn't see it didn't see it, it was right underneath my nose. And for me, you know, our, my mission with Marion is to help people to become aware, to be able to find their why. Because, you know, I was asleep. I mean, absolutely, totally asleep and totally oblivious to all the beautiful things in the world. I could only see the shit. Do you know what I mean? So um, I want to help other people to be able to wake up because, um, you know, we've got to do it. It's just everyday people that are just missing out on so much, so much. And I think that's what we're all here for, really, to help people to be, you know, the best version of themselves, really, to live the life that they were born to live. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, definitely our, our aim. Yes, 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 yes. And becoming more aware of, of everything in your environment and uh, becoming more appreciative, I feel. In, and energy yeah. is the perfect time of the year to really connect with Mother Earth and nature. And uh, for me, birds 
uh, I love birds. You know, I really love the bird song. You know, it's just in the way the way they communicate, the way they're so joyful. Uh, they are very much in the moment. They don't think what's happening in the, in the past. They don't think about the future. They're just now. Everything's about now. And, uh, and that, for me, one thing I like to, to show my appreciation for this time of the year is this, this beautiful, you know, rebirth, if you like. Uh, mm-hmm. and, then, and, then, and, then, and we are allowed, that's, that's what it is, we are allowed at every single moment to, to give new birth to everything, you know, like to choose to, to change our, our way of seeing ourselves, the, the way you see life, the way you want to move forward. Um, but for me, the art, the art of, of really appreciating, uh, it is really, really important, really important. I had a, a sorry, I'm into nature now, so a, a, you on. just reminded me. I was, I was looking in the garden this afternoon, and it, it, I, I was looking at the trees, and the trees are, you know, all blossoming and everything. And then I've got these pots that the gardener had put, you know, lots of lovely plants in. And I suddenly thought, oh gosh, I haven't watered those plants. And it was just in that moment that I thought, do you know what? This is really like life, isn't it? Because when we are who we really should be, when we're really connected and we're aware that we're all connected and, you know, we are all as one, then actually we can grow with just what nature gives us. But you try and put something in an artificial place, in an artificial pot almost, and you take away nature's ability to to grow something, then that's when somebody else needs to be involved. And if you're relying on somebody else to help you grow, um, you know, as in like naturally, um, that, that's where I think we get pot bound. <laughs> Does that make sense? Mm. Because we can't, can't actually grow as much as we want to because we work in companies that we shouldn't be in or we're surrounded by friends who are all well intended but they're as miserable as we are, you know, or we're with families who are trying to do the best that they want that we can do, you know, but they only know what they know from before and that's the deep pot bound as well isn't it do you know what I mean um, and I just thought yeah what we need to do is we need everybody to get out of this constraint of the pots and then nature can take hold you yeah. know we don't have to feel like you know we're relying on other people we can just be who we are mm-hmm. and allow nature to take us to the to the next level because the, there's no tree out there that's dying but the but the plants in the pots you know if I don't water them then they're gonna die so um, yeah it's just another yes, yes, thank yes. you for yes. allowing me to share Yes, yes, yes. Uh, all these analogies are very, very important because that really brings us, you know, this kind of awareness that uh, Mother Earth is actually teaching us that uh, there's so much abundance of everything. Everything is given to us. Everything grows. And if we just connect with that energy of abundance, then, then we can believe that we can bring more of abundance out there. And then that is actually is going to flourish in us because we are part of Mother Earth. We are, you know, we are connected. We are not separate from it. We are, every single individual is part of Mother Earth. The energy, the energy of Earth uh, is, is in every single one of us. So when we're connecting with that, then, then things can actually flow with more ease. Me also flow, the word flow and ease is really, really important. Really important. And I, I think that these two, we can, every single one of us can have it in our lives. You know, flow everything coming in and out you know like uh, joy happiness love health prosperity whatever you want to call it um, it comes in we are entitled you know it, it is part of our divine birthright to have all of that to receive all of that with ease again i like to say that we don't have to struggle you know it's like it's not about struggling it's about just allowing and receiving allowing and receiving and, and as, you, as we talked about that you know, becoming more aware, setting the intentions, and then, of course, things will be manifesting, you know, when, when the, you go through this kind of process. I look forward to carry on our conversation about this on the 27th of April. And this is uh, for, for Linda, who just uh, who joined us um, uh, on the call. Uh, Cheryl and Marion will be on my Health and Healing radio show. Uh, that is actually a weekly show every Thursday between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. And it's broadcasting live. Uh, on Redshift Radio. So you can actually connect with us when you go on www.redshiftradio.co.uk and then you click listen live and then you're going to find us. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, these, these calls, the holistic calls, they're monthly calls, they're actually happening on the second Monday every, every month. I do upload them on YouTube so you can actually watch previous calls if you like to connect with uh, 
previous themes and uh, previous uh, speakers and uh, I call you all myself including life explorers <laughs> because we are here to explore you know and expand and evolve so the next call uh, uh, is going to be on the 8th of May Monday the 8th of May at 7 30 uh, uh, again the same the same time as before and uh, yeah so and I believe that uh, going into spring energy for me is also bringing more uh, balancing the masculine and the feminine so on, in, on the next call in May, we're going to look how, you know, embracing and balancing the masculine in us. Because it's not just about being, you know, the feminine side. We need to really, really uh, allow the masculine to be, you know, con you know, really nicely connected and embraced that as well. So that's going to happen next, next, uh, next call. Okay. So Linda, can you hear us? Would you like to say hello? Are you still there? Somebody's there, Linda? No? Okay. Right. So, uh, let me just unmute you all. If there's anything you'd like to say before we we complete the call for tonight, if there's something something you would like to uh, to share, like a, a little. Uh, uh, we talked about gratitude beforehand. Is there something like a, a new start, a new beginning, uh, Constance? Is there something you'd like to share? Um, well, not so much about new beginnings, but uh, as you know, we have a friend from the Heart IQ community, Atar, who was here with me uh, uh, the past few weeks. And I really enjoyed being with her and, and so grateful that we could share in the heart intelligent way that we coach. And, you know, that felt so like being in the flow. So, mm. yeah, when you mentioned that, I think I would immediately think about yeah i'm so grateful that we have that uh, yes. in our community and, and that the people come and join us and and you you feel part of that community that's really what i'm grateful for and uh, it helps me uh, get new ideas so uh, um, yeah I, I think that's what i would like to share at this point yes yes and the new ideas new ideas are flowing because we are inspired inspired Absolutely. by the people the people we are connected with or the environment we live in or the places we choose to go to travel or the workshops we're doing, the retreats we are, you know, setting up and then attracting more people to come in there. The courses, everything, all of that, you know, creates more of inspiration. Uh, and it's all, about, it's, all about, it's all about keeping the inspiration coming in. Absolutely. Yes. Fabulous. Fabulous. I'm uh, going to put my tools outside. For the pink moon. Yes, I've got mine too. Look. <laughs> the energy. <Ooh. laughs> beautiful, beautiful rose quartz. And then these are, this is because uh, it, I, I asked you to wear pink because it's the pink full moon, but also pink is the color that uh, it's about unconditional love. It also supports relationships and money flow. Okay. So it mm -hmm. is, so it's a, uh, so if you, if, you, if you like to, because we start off the call talking about uh, connection with yourself, about your own uh, integrity, and also you're balancing yourself, your integrity, self-identity with in relationship with others. So that's why the pink is really important to, to sort of connect, connect with the pink energy or a pink crystal like uh, the rose quartz would be lovely. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you. I really enjoyed our conversations. Is there anything, anything before we close that you'd like to mention? Uh, if, uh, if, if there's anything else? One of the things that I'd like to talk about, I've got a pink rose quartz as well. Yeah. Chrysilla, the, 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 what, one of my um, discoveries about crystals that is very, was very powerful when I first started working with them was that... Um, all of the crystals that we work with are, because we're energy and everything is energy, the, en the information and the energy kind of live together everywhere too. So a, a crystal is full of information, but it's not information that the mind can ever be aware of. The information in a crystal for me is actually what sits in, below doubt. So the mind can create doubt and it sort of puts it on top of what crystals give us. So when I connect to crystals, it's, be, it's, be, it's beyond the level of mind or it's below the level of 
mind. It helps me to, to reconnect to something that's very brilliant, that's got loads of amazing knowledge and information, but my mind will never understand it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just find that's for me when I work with crystals, it's really important for, for me to remember that my mind has got no idea what's going on and that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's good to allow ourselves to say that's okay. I'm good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Brilliant. Fantastic. Uh, I love, I love the energy of the call with a sense of humor coming in and, uh, and then, you know, bring all the analogies in and uh, I hope you enjoy the meditation and everything we shared on the call. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Uh, Linda sent a, sent a message on uh, the chat box and uh, she says something was uh, not working on her audio side of, of things, technology, let her down a bit. But she, was, she says very grateful that she connected with all of us, uh, although we cannot connect with her. And she's looking forward. She's looking forward. To, Linda is going to be on my, on my radio show this Thursday. Uh, so, so you can uh, actually connect with, uh, with Linda on, on this Thursday's radio show. Fabulous. Okay, so lots of gratitude to everybody and love to you and blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye for now. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>